It is time to finish up our several week Canadian tour right here tonight on SmackDown in a massive six man tag team matchup. The phenomenal AJ Styles in need of some partners as he's set for a trio's battle against Imperium. Also coming up tonight, the SmackDown King of the Ring bracket kicks off. Austin Theory back in action for the first time since Vengeance takes on one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali. We are live tonight from the Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And speaking of the King of the Ring, first round matchup is on hand. The other half of the World Tag Team Champions, the human highlight reel, Ricochet, is set for his King of the Ring battle. But who is going to be standing on the other side of the squared circle? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet! Well, let's take a look at that King of the Ring bracket. We are kicking off the SmackDown portion right here tonight. Austin Theory will meet Mustafa Ali, but as you see, Ricochet, on the other hand, has got a mystery opponent. Ricochet coming into this matchup unknowing who's going to be standing across the ring. But if we want, to, we want to know anything about the one and only Ricochet is that he is not one to step down from any battle. Ricochet kicking things off in the first round of the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament over on Friday Night SmackDown. Who's the opponent? Oh my goodness. Well, things certainly just got interesting here on SmackDown. The Viper is here! And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Well, this is certainly an interesting development. The last time the Viper, Randy Orton, was inside of the ring was back in April at Backlash, where he was banished from Monday Night Raw when he came up short in that Hell in the Cell battle against Matt Riddle over the WWE Championship. Randy Orton has been on the shelf for a month and change, but of course Randy Orton no longer allowed to find his home on Monday nights. He is here on Fridays, and Randy Orton not only back in action for the first time since April, over a month since Backlash, but the apex predator of WWE is now a part of SmackDown in the King of the Ring. The one and only Ricochet, we just said it moments ago, but he is not one to step down from any battle. But he certainly cannot like the man who is standing across the ring from him tonight. Business certainly picking up here in Toronto. The apex predator of WWE is back and he has filled out the bracket for your 2023 King of the Ring. What well, is going to be a great night here at the Scotiabank Arena, finishing off our several week Canadian tour. The North has been a great host of the WWE, and what better way to finish strong tonight with the opening round on SmackDown for the King of the Ring, plus that massive six man tag team in event. AJ Styles and two mystery partners, we will find out later, taking on Imperium. And here we go, Randy Orton, one on one with one half of your world tag team champions, Ricochet and a first round matchup in the 2023 King of the Ring. Of course, this past Monday on Raw, the Raw side of the bracket kicking things off with Cedric Alexander moving on to the quarterfinals by defeating Tommaso Ciampa. And then Shinsuke Nakamura defeated LA Knight to move on to said quarterfinals as well. Who's gonna join him in that next round? Will it be Ricochet? Will it be Randy Orton? We're gonna find out in moments here on SmackDown. Ricochet is gonna have to Move fast and take things to the sky like he knows certainly how to do to try to throw Randy Orton off his game plan tonight. Got to wonder how much time Randy Orton had to figure out a game plan for Ricochet. How long Randy Orton knew he was going to be here tonight in Toronto. All remains to be seen, but at the end of the day, we are here. We are live. We are living in the now with Ricochet and Randy Orton. And look at that maneuver by the one and only. And a nice bridge into the cover. Will that do it? Randy Orton pops the shoulder up. It's going to take a lot more to keep the Viper down. 
Randy Orton dominated Monday Night Raw for the better part of the year as the WWE Champion, kicking his former best friend Matt Riddle to the side. Randy Orton was running roughshod over the red brand for months. Of course, as we mentioned, Orton banished from Monday Night Raw back on April the 16th at Backlash. And that final encounter with his former friend Matt Riddle inside Hell in a Cell. Randy Orton has had time to rest and recuperate since the injuries that were occurring inside of that steel structure. And he is back in tonight on SmackDown as Ricochet pulling the Viper out. The carpet from underneath of him. And Orton on the outside now. Here comes Ricochet. Looked like he was going for a drop kick there and Orton avoided it. These two men playing a game of cat and mouse at the moment, but Ricochet finally catches them with that tilt-a-whirl on the outside. This has turned into one of the biggest matches of Ricochet's career, and he's going to do any means necessary to move on to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. Ricochet, Randy Orton kicking things off for Friday Night SmackDown in this prestigious tournament. And you remember the semifinals and finals of the King of the Ring tournament will take place on the night of the event, Sunday, June the 18th in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring live premiere event. Not only will the winner receive the crown of the king, but of course, whoever wins this tournament is heading straight for August at SummerSlam to challenge for their brand's world championship. High stakes, high reward in the King of the Ring. Randy Orton, after losing his WWE title at WrestleMania and coming up short in the rematch at Backlash, I'm sure would love to get an opportunity at SmackDown's World Championship. Randy Orton pumbling the one and only right now. One half of the World Tag Team Champions is not looking so hot. Remember, his tag team partner, Mustafa Ali, will be in action a little bit later in his first round matchup against All Day Austin Theory. Meanwhile, Ricochet is feeling the warpath of the Viper. We're going to stomp out the hopes and dreams of the one and only, but Ricochet lives to fight another moment. Ricochet is a tough puzzle to crack inside of that ring. As Randy Orton may not be taking Ricochet too seriously here. I don't know if that's the best idea. You saw the human highlight reel moments ago, avoiding, or at least I should say surviving, Randy Orton's vicious stomps, and now Ricochet is coming out swinging here on the Apex Predator. Only one man can move on to the quarterfinals. Will that be Ricochet, or will it be Randy Orton? Randy Orton down and out, Ricochet hitting the ropes. What is the one and only got in mind? Here comes Ricochet! Into the cover. Will that do it? Randy Orton's foot underneath the bottom ropes there. The Apex Predator saved by the bell, if you will. Nice drop kick by Ricochet. Orton down and out, and Ricochet heads to the sky. What a maneuver by the one and only. Randy Orton tried going to the outside to avoid Ricochet, but this man knows how to strike from anywhere. Hits that hurricane run off the apron. Ricochet is looking good right now, and the Apex Predator's got to regroup. A great matchup to kick things off here at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto in this building for the first time since January the 1st when we were here for the Royal Rumble. Here, Randy Orton with a DDT. Ricochet popping up. He's got to keep fighting so there's no gas left in the tank. Looked like Orton was trying to strike for the RKO, but Ricochet's speed was able to make him avoid it. Now look at this, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Heading to the top, goes for the moonsault, but nobody home. Crash and burn by Ricochet. And Randy Orton's now in the driver's seat. Neck breaker there. As we start to move back and forth in your opening round match in the King of the Ring. Ricochet getting hung up in the top rope. Randy Orton, look at this, the stomps on the hand. Just trying to beat down the one and only by any means necessary. Cold and calculated is the Apex Predator. The man who now belongs to Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet is looking worse for wear at the current moment. He may be in trouble. Randy Orton may be smelling victory at any second now. He slammed there. And wait a minute. Ricochet. Oh, no. Randy Orton's in the corner. 
Ricochet, he avoided the RKO, but nowhere to run from that punt kick. Randy Orton sending a message to the Friday Night SmackDown locker room and certainly sending a message to all other men in the King of the Ring tournament. The Apex Predator is back and he punt kicked his way to the corner finals. My goodness, what a match. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. Well, Randy Orton returning with a vengeance tonight. And the Apex Predator now finds his name on the King of the Ring bracket and finds it in the quarterfinals coming up in a few weeks' time here on SmackDown. Randy Orton will face the winner of next week's battle between AJ Styles and Johnny Gargano, but the story here tonight is Randy Orton is back. The Apex Predator is now a part of the blue brand. Friday Night Smackdown, and everybody in the locker room better be careful that they don't get bit by the vicious venom of this cold-hearted viper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last week on SmackDown. The glorious one, Robert Roode, one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre in the main event. And as you see, Robert Roode taking his eye off the ball and inevitably cost him this matchup. A Claymore kick, sending the World Champion to yet another victory. But the story here is after the bell, as for the first time since WrestleMania, the rated R superstar Edge appeared on your screens and Edge looked to set his sights on the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. And after that stare down seven nights ago, we can officially confirm that coming up on Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia, Edge is next in line to challenge the chosen one. McIntyre not looking to step down from any challenge. McIntyre and Edge, one on one. But now we want to take you back, ladies and gentlemen. Footage from earlier today. The Rated R Superstar Edge was arriving to the arena when he was ambushed by the glorious one, Robert Roode. We can only imagine this has something to do with Robert Roode coming up short to the world champion last week. And then, of course, Edge, just upon his arrival and staring down the world champion, rewarded a world heavyweight title opportunity. All remains to be seen the story, but as you see, Robert Roode taking some pent-up aggression out on the Rated R Superstar. We're going to have to get more information on what exactly happened backstage earlier tonight, but nonetheless, we are set for a little women's division action right here live from Toronto. Well, there's been a lot of fresh faces at the top of the women's division just over the last few weeks. Back at Vengeance, Liv Morgan dethroning the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka becoming your new WWE Women's Champion. And then just seven nights ago, right here on SmackDown, new women's tag team champions were crowned. Alaya and Raquel Rodriguez accepting the open challenge of Bianca Belair and Shotzi and were able to knock off the now former tag team champions. Liv, Alaya, Raquel now all sit at the top of the women's division. But here is a woman, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, who has been picking up some serious momentum on Friday Night SmackDown. She has ran over the likes of Nikita Lyons, Zoe Stark, and even her opponent tonight, Indy Hartwell, who is looking to bounce back against the woman who has defeated her on multiple occasions over the last couple of months. All remains to be seen if Indy can bounce back, start to build some momentum for herself here on SmackDown, and coming out strong there with that big boot. She knows that she has been in the ring with Shayna Baszler before. Not looking to take another loss to the Queen of Spades, but Shayna has certainly been building some serious momentum as of late. Shayna Baszler, look at this. This is what makes Shayna Baszler so just intimidating and dominating inside of that ring. Picks apart her opponents, and of course a submission specialist is the Queen of Spades. Andy Hartwell, former women's tag team champion here in the WWE. Lost those titles back at WrestleMania alongside Candice LeRae to the, again, now former champions, Bianca Blair and Shotzi. We haven't seen Candice LeRae since WrestleMania. She suffered some kind of undisclosed injury. I hope to see Candice back inside the squared circle sooner rather than later. 
Nonetheless, Indy Hartwell here just trying to fight to survive against Shayna Baszler tonight. What has already been an exciting evening here tonight in Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto. Just moments ago, the Viper Randy Orton defeating Ricochet in that first round match in the King of the Ring tournament. Still to come, Austin Theory meets Mustafa Ali plus Imperium take on AJ Styles and two tag team partners of his choosing. Right now, Shayna Baszler is all over Indy Hartwell. You saw that step up Superman punch a few minutes ago, a few moments ago, followed up by the spear. Now Baszler is just simply beating down her opponent. A woman who once dominated over the NXT brand as the women's champion has certainly been bringing that same energy to Friday Night SmackDown as of late. A couple of overhead, I should say overside throws to Indy Hartwell. A couple of suplexes. Hartwell, though, tough puzzle to crack here. Shayna Baszler has got other plans. Neck breaker there, taking down her opponent. Baszler just unloading. Look at these shots. And a counter by Indy. As we mentioned, Indy's been in the ring with Shayna Baszler. She knows a little bit about the arsenal, the Queen of Spades. Looking to avoid it tonight, but it seems like every time Indy Hartwell tries to get back into this matchup, Shayna Baszler's right there, almost changing the question to Indy Hartwell's answer. A big time spine buster out of the Queen of Spades. Working on the arm here is Shayna Baszler. Down she goes. Shayna Baszler could easily be raking up some victories as of late. And certainly find herself in championship opportunities in the near future. Meanwhile, she's got a stranglehold on Indy Hartwell right now. And Indy has felt this war path before and there's simply nowhere to go. Shayna Baszler picking up yet another victory here on Friday Night SmackDown. Multiple wins over Indy Hartwell, over Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. The Queen of Spades may be next in line for a women's championship opportunity here in WWE. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Certainly does not get more dominating than that. Shayna Baszler's momentum continues to move forward on what has been an awesome night of action here at the Scotiabank in Toronto on Friday Night SmackDown. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues right here tonight on SmackDown as Carmella and Zelina Vega team up against Katana Chance and Caden Carter, plus the Nigerian Giant Omas back in action against the upstar Wesley. And the results of those contests see Katana Chance and Caden Carter picking up the victory. Possibly could be next in line for the new women's tag team champions, Alaya and Raquel Rodriguez, plus Wesley, unfortunately coming up short against the returning Nigerian giant Omos right here on SmackDown. Earlier today, Rey Mysterio took to Twitter and had this to say, Santos was the better man at Vengeance, but if this looming issue is going to end, we have to settle it in one final encounter. June 18th, Philly, you and me, Santos, in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match. I hope to see you in the land of extreme one more time. Rey Mysterio throwing out the gauntlet to the man who took away his Cruiserweight Championship back at Vengeance, Santos Escobar, for one final encounter. But what in the world is an Extreme Lucha Rules match? Ah, we're going to have to figure that out in the coming weeks. Will Santos Escobar accept the challenge by Rey? But nonetheless, the King of the Ring is set to continue. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Earlier tonight, Randy Orton punched his ticket to the corner finals of the 2023 King of the Ring. Who is going to join him there? We will find out in moments. All day, Austin Theory came up short in that 30 minute Iron Man matchup back at Vengeance on the 14th of May. Cody Rhodes, of course, taking the W that night. Cody not finding himself in the King of the Ring tournament because Cody Rhodes has set himself, set his sights, I should say, on the United States champion, Gunther. Throwing out the challenge to the ring general. Still have yet to hear if Gunther is going to accept said challenge from the American Nightmare, but all remains to be seen. As for right here, right now, Austin Theory is looking to bounce back from that loss at Vengeance in the midst of the King of the Ring. But the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali, he saw his partner come up short earlier tonight. He's not looking for the same fate. Ali wants to punch his ticket to the quarterfinals, but he's got Austin Theory standing in his way. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali. It is the biggest week in universe mode history, and it all kicks off on June the 12th with Raw Homecoming. All roads lead to Super Smackdown in Washington, D.C. Of course, the channel member exclusive June the 17th at the Manhattan, New York Hammerstein Ballroom. And then, of course, June 18th, Wells Fargo Center, Philadelphia for the King of the Ring. It is going to be an epic week. Three live premiere events all at 5 p.m. Eastern time and the channel member exclusive. What a week it is going to be coming up next month. Right here, Mustafa Ali, Austin Theory, Looking to move one step closer to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Will one of these men find themselves in the semifinals and finals? All remains to be seen. But tonight it's just about getting out of the first round and moving on to the quarterfinals in two weeks here on SmackDown. Will it be Ali or will it be Theory? Mustafa Ali getting caught powerbomb position. Wait, not just yet. Stacking up Boston Theory. Ali is looking for the victory early. As we mentioned, not looking to suffer the same fate as Ricochet did earlier tonight, his tag team partner. Mustafa Ali, we speculated, was a breakout star in 2022, really a career resurgence for Ali. And even though he's been in the tag team picture over the last couple of months, certainly take nothing away out of Ali's singles abilities. My goodness, step up Spanish fly. Only a one count there. But you hear the crowd here in Saskotia Bank. This is awesome already off the get-go. Ali throwing caution in the wind, all in the means of moving on in the King of the Ring. Springboard Senton, another one count there. Ali is swinging for the fences, certainly looking for the home run tonight. Austin Theory, gotta be all kinds of days right now. Ali has been all over him since that opening bell. And here comes Ali again, over the top rope and down to the floor, taking out the opposer. Austin Theory finds himself in a precarious situation just as he did a few weeks ago. Coming up short in that 30-minute Iron Man match against Cody Rhodes. Mustafa Ali springboard going for the frog splash there. Nobody home. Crash and burn for the first time after several high-risk maneuvers. And Austin Theory trying to get back into this matchup of that flurry of offense by Ali. They're going to showcase his strength there. Most likely the stronger of these two competitors. Ali, the more agile. But nonetheless, Austin Theory takes down one half of the world tag team champions. And a great match has already been. We're about one, two minutes into this thing. But this is what the King of the Rings is all about. Leaving everything you got inside that squared circle. We're going to get your hand raised after the second bell. Winner of this matchup will meet the winner of next week's Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler battle. Austin Theory now over Mustafa Ali just raking at the eyes. As we mentioned earlier tonight, Randy Orton moving on to fight the winner of next week's battle between AJ Styles and Johnny Gargano. Wait a minute, Ali rolling up Theory here to get the victory. Theory took his eye off the ball and it almost cost him. Now Theory realizes that mistake. Overhand shot to Mustafa. 
Now the former WWE champion has got the submission hold locked in. Leg lock on Ali. We saw Theory pull out a couple of new moves in his arsenal in that 30-minute Iron Man matchup. Clearly added to it as of late and trying to pull out some maneuvers on Ali to keep him down. And Mustafa has got the heart. He's got the soul. And he's going to keep swinging until there's absolutely nothing left. Ali, Austin Theory. Only one man can move on to the quarterfinals. Who will it be? We will find out in moments. Theory once again rolling to the outside, just trying to stay away from Ali. And everything Ali is throwing at him in this matchup. Anyway, here comes Ali again over the top with the crossbody. Theory is down and out, and he has not had an answer for Mustafa Ali from the majority of this contest so far. This has been a majority Ali wrestled style matchup. And theory is really playing offense through defense. The majority of this contest. Well, there's another shot to the back by Theory. Just trying to get back into this match. Wrap it up. Ali and dropping him on the knee. And that may be a knockout blow. At least enough to get the victory. But Ali kicks out. Never count out Mustafa Ali. There's a reason we call that man the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. Former United States champion. Current half of your world tag team champions. It could very well be moving on to the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring if he can get back into this match. Theory just ragdolling the opponent right here. And Austin Theory, a lot of taunt and a lot of ego just pouring out of this young man tonight. I don't know if he's taking Mustafa Ali serious or not, but he better keep his head on track because if not, Ali, rest assured, is going to find a way to pull out the victory tonight. A couple of shots. Nothing pretty, but certainly affected by Austin Theory in the fallaway slam. Great night of action has been here to finish off our Canadian tour. So Scotiabank, Toronto, been on fire for an awesome episode of SmackDown thus far. And Ali going for the Instaguri. Theory avoided it. And Ali got it that time. If it doesn't work once, try again. And Mustafa Ali succeeds on the second go around. Goes behind. What a maneuver into the bridge. Will that do it on Theory? Not just yet. And Theory continues to just try to get away from Mustafa Ali. Theory is wrestling this matchup on the run for the majority of it, at least. And Ali is really controlling the pace. Theory down again. Ali. Nice takedown. Head scissors there. At least taking his time now, picking his spots. May have burned himself out a little bit with so many high-risk maneuvers, but there's Ali. Classic pop-up tornado DDT, like only Ali knows how to do it. And does it again, and that time with a little more stack on it. Austin Theory kicks out. What a maneuver by Ali. Hit that pop-up tornado, and then a springboard off the corner. But an even more effective tornado. Wait a minute, Austin Theory going for a Koji clutch here. Ali's own submission maneuver that we have seen Mustafa pull, pull out in the past. Austin Theory trying to do anything he can to throw Ali off his game plan. Ali not only knows how to utilize that maneuver, but certainly knows how to survive it. That time he got out of the way, but Austin Theory with that boot scrape changes the course of this matchup. I'll lead down. Wait a minute. Austin Theory's got him on the shoulders. A town down to the other half of the world tag team champions. And that'll do it. Austin Theory just did enough to survive in the King of the Ring tonight. Ali gave it his all. Threw everything in the kitchen sink at Austin Theory tonight. But in, to, in the end, Theory, just a better man. Austin. And there you see your updated King of the Ring bracket. Austin Theory joins Randy Orton in the quarterfinals of this prestigious tournament. But who is going to face those two men? We will find out in just seven nights on SmackDown. Austin Theory picks up the victory in Toronto.
Well, coming up next week on SmackDown, huge main event sign between the Rated R Superstar Edge and Robert Roode. If Robert Roode wins this matchup, he will be added to the World Championship affair at King of the Ring. Will it be Edge versus McIntyre will one-on-one, -on -one, or will it become a triple threat with Robert Roode? Also coming up next week on SmackDown, Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler have had their issues as of late, and their issues going to spoil over into the first round of the King of the Ring. And who will fight the man who just succeeded moments ago in Austin Theory? The phenomenal AJ Styles, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, sure to put on a clinic next week on SmackDown. But AJ Styles is set for your main event right here, right now. It is main event time in Toronto. Six-man tag team affair at stake. The United States champion, Gunta, accompanied by Giovanni Vinci. Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium in full force, set to take on AJ Styles and whoever AJ Styles has recruited to stand by his side in this six-man tag team warfare. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 737 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser, Gunter, and Giovanni Vinci, Imperia! One of the most dominating trios, and certainly most intimidating in WWE today, the ring general Gunther, yet to be defeated since Imperium joined Friday Night SmackDown back in November, and he has been on a collision course defending the United States Championship. Of course, the most recent successful defense for the ring general Coming back in Vancouver on the 14th of May at Vengeance, we retain the gold over one of his opponents tonight, the phenomenal AJ Styles. It's still a score to be settled. The championship may not be on the line, but certainly some bragging rights are. AJ Styles looking to get that victory back, and at least in a means, in this trio six-man main event. It'll be very interesting to see who AJ Styles has recruited to be by his side. Him and Wes Lee have been watching each other's backs as of late against Imperium, but Wes Lee took on Omos earlier tonight and got defeated. There's no way he's going to be ready for this matchup. Oh, wait a minute. AJ Styles certainly isn't coming alone. He didn't just find any tag team partners. He found the only club that matters. Anderson Gallows, the OC is in Toronto. And their opponents at a combined weight of 723 pounds. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and AJ Styles, the OC. AJ Styles certainly picked two men that he has been to war with plenty of times and he knows has his back. Business has picked up tonight on SmackDown. Not only has the former WWE Champion Randy Orton joined the blue brand, but Gallows and Anderson. The OC is in the house for your main event on SmackDown. Well, this is going to be good. Six-man tag team main event. Imperium cannot be liking the three men that stand across the ring. The big LG, Luke Gallows, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Gallows and Ludwig Kaiser starting off your six-man tag team main event. And what a night it has been here in Toronto. The king of the ring, Randy Orton, joins the blue brand and the return of the original club. A look at the muscle by Luke Gallows here. Nice showcase there by the big LG. Imperium, I'm sure, came into this match with a game plan, but they certainly couldn't have been expecting the original club in Gallows and Anderson. Big time main event, wait a minute. Look at Luke Big Kaiser taking the big man off his feet, going for a little submission hold here. Got Gallows all kinds of wrapped up. But as we just mentioned, a couple of men who ain't afraid to watch your back. Anderson breaking things up, and here comes the United States Champion Gunther. 
So I know anything. Wait a minute. A little brawl going out of ringside. It has unfortunately put this match in a handicap for a moment. Giovanni Vinci in there with a the big LG. And Gallo's getting hung up in the top rope. As I was about to mention, expect chaos and anarchy in your main event tonight. Again, the championship may not be on the line. AJ Styles is going to have to forget about the United States gold as for now. But certainly some bragging rights on the line for the Phenomenal One as well as Gallows and Anderson. And certainly some momentum as well. AJ Styles with this big time six man tag team main event. And then coming up in just seven nights, he will compete against Johnny Gargano in the first round of the King of the Ring. And for Gallows and Anderson's case, this is their first match back here in WWE. Certainly don't want to take a loss. First night back on the show. We got a tag made to Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Let's see what he can do with Giovanni Vinci inside of that ring. Here comes Anderson. Nice clothesline there. Former IWGP World Tag Team Champions, Impact World Tag Team Champions. They have held gold here in WWE as well. Anderson and Gallows, one of the greatest tag teams in the world over the last decade. And they are back here on Friday Night SmackDown. Giovanni Vinci, another tag to Ludwig Kaiser. We have yet to see the two generals of the ring enter this matchup between the United States champion Guther and the phenomenal AJ Styles. They will get their due. But Anderson and Gallows not necessarily working off the rust because they have certainly been active these last few years. But getting back into the WWE tonight, and there's a tag made to Luke Gallows. Back where we started with Gallows and Kaiser inside of this six-man tag team match. And there's a tag to the phenomenal AJ Styles. Ludwig Kaiser rolling to the outside trying to catch his breath, but he is in enemy territory there as Carl Anderson sends him back into the ring. And a little tag team action out of the OC. Nice knee there by Styles. Kaiser on the run again. Wait a minute, trying to throw Carl Anderson off his game. And an uppercut to the illegal competitor in Carl Anderson. Imperium certainly not afraid to get their hands dirty. All in the means of victory. Took his eye off the phenomenal AJ Styles, however. Oh, wait a minute. Tag made to the United States champion, Guther. A standoff, and here comes Styles unloading on the man who tapped him out back in Vancouver. The United States Championship may not be on the line tonight, but tonight for AJ Styles, momentum and bragging rights certainly at stake. An opportunity to pin Guther's shoulders to the mat for the first time here on SmackDown. And maneuvers like that certainly going to aid him so. Under the cover, will that do it? Going to keep a lot, I should say take a lot more, to keep Guther down. As anybody can do it, put the OC against Imperium and let him loose. Styles unloading in the ring, General. Chopping up the chest, little roll reversal here. It's usually Guther throwing the heavy shots. There's the United States champion, Ragdoll, and the phenomenal one. Some athleticism there out of your champion. And a snap German takes down Styles again. These two men had an awesome matchup back at Vengeance in Vancouver. And wait a minute, this is the submission hold. Guther's going for the kill early in this match. Not wasting any time. Styles tapped to this very maneuver back at Vancouver at Vengeance. But AJ's still got a lot of fight left in him. Wait a minute. Got a pinfall here on Guther trying to steal the victory. Almost had him. Forearm takes the champion off his feet, but Styles able to escape the submission hold there. And almost had Guther's shoulders pinned to the mat for the three count. Guther has to deal with the OC and AJ Styles tonight, but what about the challenge that was thrown out last week on SmackDown? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes has called his shot against Guther. Ring General's yet to respond to that challenge, of course, with this matchup at stake tonight. Gotta wonder if Guther is gonna be willing to step up to Cody Rhodes and defend his United States Championship in the near future. More remains to be seen, but the Ring General's gotta deal with the machine gun Carl Anderson right now. Carl Anderson getting tagged in off that melee a few minutes ago. A nice senton there. Anderson, Gallows, and Styles looking good in this comeback for the OC tonight in Toronto. Now whipping Guther off into an enemy territory here. Not sure what Anderson's got in mind. 
Nonetheless, he better keep his eyes on the United States Champion. This is the first time, I believe, that they've been inside the ring with each other. It is a whole different world of pain when you are in there with the ring general. Tag made the Giovanni Vinci. AJ Styles back in. Both men going for flying strikes. Both miss wildly, but now Vinci takes down Styles. AJ owns some recent victories over Imperium. Remember the Friday Night Smackdown before Vengeance, he teamed up with Wesley and was able to knock off Vinci and Kaiser. A completely different animal when he's got Gallows and Anderson by his side. Anderson down the outside, tag made to Gallows though, and Styles and the big LG get to work together. Couple of kicks takes down Giovanni Vinci. The OC is looking good in the comeback tonight. And look at the power out of the big man. Oh, Vinci gets out of it. Goes behind, goes up front, and now an overhead shot to Luke Gallows. There is chaos at ringside right now between Styles, Kaiser, and Anderson still trying to get to his feet. Meanwhile, pinfall inside of the ring. Not just yet, gonna take a lot more to keep Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson down, especially tonight of all nights. I'm sure those two men got a fire under their ass upon their return here on Friday Night SmackDown. And again, coming up next week, AJ Styles will meet Johnny Gargano. Ron Breaker will meet Dolph Ziggler. Your final first round matches on the SmackDown side of the bracket in the King of the Ring. And what a massive main event also signed for next week. Of course, Edge will fight Drew McIntyre on the 18th of June at King of the Ring for the World Heavyweight Championship. But Edge is back in action for the first time since WrestleMania. Next week against Robert Roode. And if Robert Roode can win, that world title match at King of the Ring becomes a triple threat. High stakes in your main event next week. Meanwhile, Anderson may have just put a bow tie and sent this matchup out the door. Spine buster, but not able to get the victory just yet. Almost had Giovanni Vinci off that signature spine buster out of the arsenal. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Camera's cutting. That's Robert Roode and the rated R superstar Edge. This fight from earlier tonight has spilled out into the arena and these two men are fighting at the side of the stage right now your main event of next week has already spilled over to these men's hometown of toronto well edge looking for a little retribution seven nights out of their one-on-one -on -one meeting wanting to get back at robert rude for that attack in the parking garage earlier today can't say i blame edge and certainly don't want to be a referee trying to get in between these two men right now. Meanwhile, Edge is climbing the stage. Where's the Rated R Superstar going? What does he have in mind? Crossbody to Robert Roode. Things are boiling over. Just seven nights before their main event next week with a world championship opportunity at King of the Ring on the line. What? Well, that, that fight just spilling out from the backstage area but we still got a main event going on ladies and gentlemen between Imperium and the OC absolute anarchy in the arena here on Friday Night Smackdown as Styles takes out Giovanni Vinci at ringside it has been a raucous night of surprises and chaos here at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto Ontario Canada on Friday Night Smackdown AJ Styles and Giovanni Vinci, your legal competitors in your six-man tag team main event. Which trio is walking away with the W? We will find out in moments as Anderson. Now your legal competitor, nice takedown on Giovanni Vinci. Oh, cheap shot by Ludwig Kaiser, and Anderson gonna answer, sending Kaiser off the apron, and one for Guther as well. All's fair in love and war, especially when you throw the first strike. Turned his back on Giovanni Vinci, however. Look at this. Giovanni Vinci, definitely the high flyer of Imperium, knows how to take things to the sky. He knows how to take Anderson off his feet there. Goes for a kick. Machine gun counters. Collar and elbow, look at Carl Anderson here. And Giovanni Vinci, counter of his own. The clothesline by Vinci takes down Kaiser. Or excuse me, takes down Anderson. Tag made to Ludwig Kaiser. Oh, and a cutter by Anderson. Out of nowhere on Kaiser. Referee's got his eyes set on Giovanni Vinci trying to get him out of the ring. And allows Gunther some time to break up that pinfall. But now Luke Gallows in. Gallows taking care of the United States champion. 
We said expect chaos and anarchy in this match. Anderson was going for Kaiser there. Referee was a little in position. Calls himself to take a blow. Trying to shake the cobwebs off here off the small package. Chaos is breaking down in your six-man tag team matchup. And another cutter by the machine gun, Carl Anderson. Referee, slowly but surely, makes the three count. And it is a successful return to action for the machine gun, Carl Anderson. The big LG, Luke Gallows. And alongside AJ Styles, the original club. Here are your winners. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and AJ Styles, the OC. Well, the OC is back on the blue brand. So is the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. It has been a chaotic night here on SmackDown on the road to King of the Ring next month in Philadelphia. Already a stack tonight coming your way, seven nights away. Edge meets Robert Roode in next week's main event for a shot at the World Championship. But thank you for joining us tonight in Toronto. We will see you next week. Good night, everybody. Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.